guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i will show you how to do ice glue effect in blender now to do this we need to be in vfx workspace and to do so click on this plus sign come to vfx then show motion tracker now load in your footage all right set same frame to match the frame rate and set click on prefetch to cache the movie into memory now i'm using a movie clip but it's better you use image sequence for this kind of video okay now we play through now what we are doing is to track this eyes track its eyes then mask the eyeballs out then we come to compositing okay now we need to track the eyes now Click here to normalize and change the keyframe to previous frame. Now you can choose outline. Then come to clip display here. Click on search. Now press Ctrl click. You can come to the frame where the eye is more visible, like here. Alright, now press Ctrl click to add the marker expand it then track backward like that then come to the remaining frame just track forward all right the track lost and we need to adjust the track okay now the track is more clear here now come to the frame where it's opposed to close its eyes now press g to grab the track then draw it down all right now it's okay like this now let me track the the other eyes all right guys i'm done doing the tracking now let me play this for you All right, you see that the tracker stick to the eyes. All right, now we need to mask out the eyes. Click press tab to come to mask. Now click on new and click on the eyes to center to D. Now press shift A to add a mask. You can add square or circle, but this type of video we are using circle. Now click on circle, then resize it. Press S to scale down. All right, now adjust it to fit the eye people like so. Now we need to parent this mask with this track. I've done this in my previous tutorial. You can check that out. Now to do this, press A to select all the points. Now press Tab again to come back to track. Click on this track. You see, oops. Click on the track. Press tab again to come back to mask. Now press Ctrl P to parent it. If you play this through, you see that it follows the track. Now we need to resize and adjust this track according to the size and to the perspective of this people. Now click here to turn on auto keyframe. Now we need to come resize it. Now come to another frame. Resize it and just it to make it fit the eye. Alright. You have to monitor this very well. Now you see that. This eyes close here, so we need to resize it to and to keyframe it to where it's close. Now press A to select all the points, press G and place it here. Now we need to resize this down like this. Alright, now come to the next frame and press. A to select all the points 
now press G to now grab it outside out of the clip if you press here to come back to previous and go to the last frame just press G and drop it here all right now you can see okay now i have to do this to the other track here click here to add a new mask click on the eye people to center to d now press shift a then add circle press s to scale down then adjust it press tab to come to track select the track press tab again to come to mask Press A to select all the points of the mask and press Ctrl P to parent it. Now you play, when you press this also you see that it stick to the eye right throughout the shot. Adjusting and keyframing the mask. Now when you play through you see that this mask move along with the eyes and when the eyes close it's gone and it's right here you can see. And this is exactly what we want let me sh show you the second mask all right now when you see that when these eyes close this is also gone all right now the next thing to do is to come to the compositing workspace now click here to choose the compositing click on use notes and we are not using any render layer here so we don't need this press x to get rid of that all right press shift a to come to input then select movie clip put it here now press shift a again come down to layout then shoot reroute okay this is just like a reroute connection node if you put it here all right press shift a again come to output select viewer notes okay put that here then connect it like this put this image output here connect to this reroute like so now click here to load in your movie clip then set it okay now before we get started we have to do some few things now press shift a come to this dot here select scale node put it here click here then choose render size all right you must do this first before you do anything yet okay now we need to drop in a alpha over but for this kind of effect we are not using a power but we are using mix node now press shift a come to color then select mix put it here then change it to add all right bring this connection here also put it here all right now we need our mask obviously press shift a so come to input now go to mask now we need two of this mask node for the because we do two mask of our eyes duplicate it by pressing shift d put it here now we need this mix node instead of adding a new one so we duplicate it press shift d then put it here change it from mix to add also change this from mix to add all right put it here connect this with this connect this with this now just click here select the first mask click here select the second mask all right we can view this by pressing shift and click and select it just to see what is going on here all right now connect this node to this factor here because this is a mask node so we plug in it to the factor all right 
now if you disconnect this down node you can see that this white that is here appear on our eyes all right now we need to blow these edges a little bit now press shift a come to filter select blow node put it here change it from version to fast version now increase this blow size to like seven both x and y seven all right now to do this effect there are several ways of adding a image node now let me show you the first way which is press shift a come to input now select rgb all right now press shift a again come to color select huge saturation value put it here connect this rgb to this huge now plug this huge here to here increase the value all right now you can set the value according to what you want you can increase the saturation also all right now you can change this color output to the color of the eyes you want to change you can see here all right all right now to get this done we still need some few nodes now we need this add node so duplicate it shift d put this right here all right change bring this output here put it here now we also need to duplicate this huge press shift d to duplicate that then put it here beside it all right now for us to be able to set how much glue we want on this eye so we need to swap this like this now when you bring down the factor you see that we have less glue on the eyes you can see that we have more flexibility on controlling the effect we have on the eyes that's the reason why i add this add node put it somewhere here increase the saturation a little bit and also the value all right now i need the blow set this aside we need another add node just press shift d to duplicate this put it here all right this output here or this add node here put it here okay now this mask here bring the output here log it to the factor of this all right now we can control the blur of this you see what happened now now press to duplicate this blur node put it here now when you increase the y value of this blur you see that the flare comes up now bring it back to it now increase the x value all right now you can see this effect right here all right from here you can control the how much glue you want on the eyes you can increase the saturation all right you see and bring it down you can pretty change everything as you want right. and when you come to another frame the same happen to it you see here okay right here i want to be to control this flame how much play we have on this part of this eyes when the eyes is about to close so we need to change to reduce it okay let me come to 
the frame let me come to a frame before the eyes was closed come here okay press i on this and come to the y value also press i to insert a keyframe now go to the next frame where the eyes close now reduce this you can come forward by reducing a little bit all right now press i you can see when you come here see it and when you come down all right you can see that this flare right here and this glow right here is not exactly on these eyes that happens because we are using image we are not using image sequence we are using movie clip for this that's why it's always better use image sequence when doing visual effects all right now we can render this and that is guys thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video